In this video, my fellow LEGO YouTubers challenged me to create some very cursed LEGO dinosaurs, and if you watch this video all the way through, you can too. So I know I kind of rushed through this part in the actual video, because there's just so much in that video, but I wanted to take a closer look at each of the dinosaurs that I made, and show the full clip of the first official collab on the B3 channel, which is kind of weird to say. But the first one of that is my man, Brick Science. Dude, I want you to build a Spidosaurus. So basically, it's like a spider and a dinosaur, so it should have eight legs and like also a tail because it's a dinosaur. And, I don't know how many eyes spiders have, but it should have a lot of eyes. I think it'll be pretty cool. So that's my idea for a dinosaur. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I would say this is a challenge completed. It's using the base of the black dragon from, this is on the top of the tower in series 23. Without the wings, of course, because these clips that normally host the wings have these pieces. These kind of, actually these also look like the dragon tower horns. But those are like one of the eight arms of the spider. On its back are four of its legs connected to these technic bricks. We've got two on each side. And then here is where the arms are normally supposed to be with like technic holes in there and so we just i think that's an illegal connection probably connecting this assembly with a horn clip and a bar right in that hole that's definitely illegal but the mouth is actually or it's, it's really weird so this is like the mouth of the dragon see how it's kind of open and then we have this assembly connected with a, a rubber band so <laughs> look at this so this is normally just like the crocodile head kind of thing of the dragon but this thing it's two of these pieces it's kind of like a trapezoid how it has the two studs in the middle and then the two studs extending out from that but then we put the eyeballs on that because it needs to have a lot of eyes, obviously. You have two of these kind of stacked up right here, giving you eight eyes total. I considered using this piece from the Lord of the Rings spider attack set. How many does this have? Technically eight as well, but I think this just looks better. It's brick built and this does fit in there, but it just doesn't stand out as much as like the bright white eyeballs do. So there you go. Spidosaurus complete with a spider minifigure. Now the next one is suggested by Generic Stud. Generic Stud here. And basically what I want you to make is a ninja Saurus. So it's like a ninja, but a, a dinosaur as well. Please, please make it good, I pray. I, I wanna see it. So we're actually gonna start with the normal dinosaur this time. This is this plain blue raptor from I think the Lego Movie 2. And obviously we're gonna take its head off right away and connect it with this head. This <laughs> is a Ninjago, you know, normal head with I think Kai and then his red headband thing and then just a cylinder one by one brick. And that is kind of the neck. I also tried to do uh, this as the Ninjasaurus, but I think this is like more cursed if you just put the, <laughs> you can put the dinosaur head on a mini figure body so we're just gonna leave that off to the side continue its ninja transformation we're gonna give him some nice shoes or sandals or whatever and then get these uh whips connected to some golden clips as kind of like his backpack or gear sort of thing look at that. that that looks just cool it's like a harness or whatever i was originally gonna use these paper kind of like capes as like the headband or whatever around this blue head and it was just too much it was it was really weird i would have to use a lot of tape and i don't think it'd be worth it with how it looks in the end so i'm just using these capes as kind of like decorative frills if you could say it's a little tricky to connect both holes to the one Technic pin of the leg and then you just sandwich that between it and then it kind of has like this thing and it looks like it's flying or in motion or whatever. So I put those on both sides and there we go. It's ready to spring into action with its weapons. I just am using these golden sword pieces. One of them is sideways just because the Velociraptor arms are, are really weird. So the other one I use this like clip wrench piece and having it turned to 90 degrees. So then you can clip the wrench in there instead and then have it kind of like whatchaw, whatchaw, whatchaw or something like that. And its toes have a, a spot for a bar they can't they don't really work as well but if you wanted to get some like general grievous action going on you can kind of like sort of position uh, some swords in there too so it's like a four sword nightmare and i guess what we could do is have this guy ride oh this is oh no <laughs> well there you go that this is the completed and even more cursed ninjasaurus but it's not the only cursed dinosaur with a rider because the next one is from republic studs hey b3 it is republic studs i want you to build a chefosaurus taking a dinosaur and the swedish chef from the muppet and making them into a singular Lego dinosaur. We will be anxiously awaiting your response. Good luck and subscribe to the B3. I agree with that last part, but uh, also subscribe to this channel. It's a different channel or second channel if you haven't already. And check out all the people who collabed with us. It was really fun to, to work with people and they all have great channels as well. So I'll leave a link in the description for their channels there in the main video as well. But for now, we're going to build the Chefosaurus. So I'm using this Star Wars, what is this? Like a Tauntaun kind of thing? I don't know, but Republic does, does Star Wars stuff sometimes. So we've got the Chefosaurus in his mount here. And then of course we have this. <laughs> 
This is amalgamation of just like tan pieces. I wanted to do like the light nougat. I think it's called skin tone that the Swedish chef has, but I didn't have enough pieces. Oh, that's cursed without the mustache. We've got the, oh, let's just make it even more cursed. Like take the eyebrows off. We've got snot there to have the eyebrows um, connected, these two by one tiles. Cheese slopes for the ears. I, I made the most of our limited dark orange selection. So we've got some plates on top as his hair in the back there. And then this chef hat, I really like the little pleats in the top. And then his nose is this thing. So it's like this dark, or this is medium nougat. I don't know. But this color here with a clip actually in the same color, that worked out really well. And then his mustache is just a four by one tile connected with illegal building techniques. Don't tell anyone. But the inside, oh man, how do we even do this? I remember it was kind of, let me just, just take it all apart. Okay, yeah, so the sketchy building techniques continue on the inside. We're using this headlight brick to get the perfect distance. So it's kind of the, it's, it's flush with the rest of the face. And that just is held in place with this. And of course the hair. And so that, that should give you a good idea with like the teeth connected to this jumper and that you can pause the video to get specific pieces. Obviously this isn't like a step-by-step -step tutorial, but hopefully this should give you an idea as with all these kind of mock tutorial things that we do on this channel. So if you wanted to build it yourself with your own pieces at home, you could reasonably try. To connect it, oh, the illegal building techniques just continue because this is this is probably arguably the worst instance of it. So it's little duckbill face there just kind of is shoved into the back of a Swedish chef head and it has like studs as the eyes. So they go in the back of these headlight bricks with a one by one plate on the back of them and is a very tight connect like look at that that is so bad for the pieces but you know in the name of science and culinary skill i don't know uh we, we had to do it so on the other side of this headlight bricks it has chains that the swedish chef can hold its mount and we've got this very very cursed dinosaur as a result this one might be one of my favorites but it's not as good as the next one suggested by sacred bricks what's up it's sacred Bricks, the dinosaur I want you to build is the Rizosaurus Rex. It's gotta have good Riz. Need I say more? <laughs> this thing turned out incredible. My brother actually made most of it, but these arms, of course, are from, I think, Hulk. We got it from, like, Killer Croc and, like, a Batman set or whatever, but it's just, like, the big fig style arms and then the Technic pin in the side of the bricks to hold him. He's got a gold chain, of course, around his neck. This Lego, I think, Chima alligator mask. And then if you take its mask off, that is, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> honestly, which which one is more Riz? Is this, this is definitely this because he's like smiling this he's just possessed or something but he's got the red shirt that's just like a two by three base with the technic holes in the, the side and then his legs aren't like connected at all they're just like sandwiched between the, these bottom hollow studs these legs are from a pachycephalosaurus or i guess a stigma i i don't know the difference but i know one of them is much more fun to say so pachycephalosaurus 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 anyways these just worked really well of course obviously with the the skin color of the arms and the head we've got just this some shaping here and then a lot of shaping going on in the back. Let me put the arms on if you while you while you look for for the what what I'm what I'm talking about here. Yeah. So uh, two things. One, the tail is just connected with a jumper, and this is like a leaf stem piece, and it worked really well because obviously it's the same color as the the olive, but it's like it's same like curly thing, and I don't know what this this is supposed to be, but. Uh, poor choice of words there. Uh, he's got some very defined um, glutes there. I'll just say that these like one by one tiles that are rounded on one end. They they work arguably too well. So there you go. Uh, this man has the most Riz imaginable. He stole all the, the girls of the cavemen in the <laughs> dinosaur video, and he will steal your girl too if you're not careful. So let's quickly move on to the next one, suggested by TD Bricks. I challenge you to build Barney the Dinosaur in Lego, one of my favorite childhood characters. So if you mess this up, I'm unsubscribing. Your timer begins now. Go. Ah, okay, so there's a timer apparently now. Um, this thing turned out amazing. Given my limited, this is like dark purple or magenta supply. I don't have a lot of this color, so I had to be a little bit creative. One of those uses is these big old cheeks. So it has like these corner pieces. I use this in like the, the money bin, um, if you remember that video. But uh, if you start to peel away the, the facade, it looks even worse on the inside. Oh, oh no. Yeah, so a lot of my bricks are just these like, slopes, these two by four slopes. I don't have a ton of just normal bricks, but you can use the back of slopes to look like bricks. So that's what's going on here. I guess those are like two by one because we have maybe more snot going on. I don't have any snot bricks in this color. So I use the closest thing this is dark pink. And the only place you can really see that is like between the eyes. There really wasn't a great way to do this. These are like the eyes from the Elf on the Shelf mech, by the way. We could have used different eyes, but I think these just work great. And they give the same scary curse feeling as that did. You can see the full force of slopes coming in the top of the head, the nose. And <laughs> I love the little smile. I considered 
giving him teeth, but that was that was a little bit too much for me to handle. So I think just like the the normal white plates, his teeth is is more than enough. Ugh. Okay, that's worth. But anyways, we have a lot of shenanigans going on on the inside of his head. So let me just show you there. Those are the slopes in the back of the snot bricks. Um, but then this right here, obviously like his mouth is upside down because I don't have any um, anti-slopes or upside down slopes. So this is just a normal slope, but I made it upside down using some illegal building <laughs> techniques. So we've got like the black bricks here for the inside of his mouth and I was able to use some snot to connect the, the cheeks there. But inside of all these bricks are Technic pins that kind of switch the direction. So they've got studs on both sides here kind of. And it's very illegal because like the the pins don't have room to fully extend or whatever. So um, it could damage your pieces long-term if you did this, but uh, I think Barney damages all of us long-term anyway, so that doesn't really matter. So then the front of his face is all just one piece that's connected to the side here. And then to fill these gaps, I have um, some tiles here, and then we have a tile upside down. So it works out pretty good where the distance is, it's like half a plate, I think, between them. So let's just take its entire head off as we peel away the inside so you can kind of see how it's made. The front was obviously much easier because I have more green than this magenta color. So this actually turned out really really nice. This even, like the bottom of his belly, whatever. His legs are pretty standard, but they, they're effective. Uh, yeah, I just really like the shaping here. So let me just show you from all angles as I try to peel away inside. The only thing with the arms is like, I wanted to have them a little bit flexible and not just like permanently T-posing, but he can T-pose. So that's a thing that can happen. And I think this gives him more mobility. So we have to use mixel joints because they only come in dark gray and gray. It's so upsetting. <laughs> They really need to make them in more colors, but here we are. I'm just gonna like start taking away pieces and you can just pause the video as I go. So yeah, we have the, the mixel joints in there. This is, oh, it's all sorts of nonsense happening. What is going on here? <laughs> so uh, hopefully that gives you a good idea. I'm just gonna take a chunk away as much as I can. And I wanna show you like the, the inside of this thing, but these things are really hard to take off because they don't have like a groove under the stud and they, they don't have studs to connect the brick separator to. So we're kind of out of luck there, but I guess you can kind of see it's just using like these brackets pieces on the side of these green bricks and there's the rest of the inside of Barney. So uh, we've defeated Barney, everyone. <laughs> Good news, we don't have to throw him in a volcano. But we actually have one more bonus dinosaur for this video that I wasn't able to fit into the main 24-ville episode, suggested by Master Builders. All right, B3, I challenge you to build a Brickosaurus separator, which is really just a dinosaur made up of a bunch of brick separators. And it also likes to separate other dinosaurs. So I feel really bad because I ended up reaching out to Master Builders much later than everyone else. So that didn't give them very much time to submit an idea before the video was kind of finalized. So if you're watching this, Master Builders, I do apologize for that. I really wish I could have included you, but hopefully this can help make it up. So we've got the Brickos Brickosaurus separator right here. And this thing is incredible. It's partially inspired by this Reddit post. That, that's where I got the idea for this head here. I guess Master Builder did say multiple brick separators. So I do have this alternate head that I made with two brick separators. So I can put like these big old Mixel eyes on there. And that, uh, <laughs> it ends up looking kind of goofy and kind of like an, another Mixel actually, uh, this guy. So I think I do prefer the one brick separator head. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple body. The, the, the head was like inspired by the thing, but the, the body was on my own design, including like these arms <laughs> made out of carrot. These white clips, by the way, are like from the Titanic I had to steal. We've got the teeth, obviously the eyes on top. His head is just connected to the bricks that are like this, so that's kind of fun. Jumper there to have it centered. How do I get this apart? If only I had a brick separator to show you. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that's basically just a bracket on the side with the, the curved slope there. Another bracket for his tiny little stubby little pokey tail kind of, kind of guy there. And then the feet are pretty straightforward using these clips as well. So this is pretty simple. Um, it definitely could have been in the video. You know, like if I hadn't filmed everything yet, this would, this would have made great there. And it can take apart other dinosaurs such as Barney. Rawr. So uh, thank you very much for watching this really weird um, cursed tutorial kind of thing. And if you like this video, I think I'm gonna do a thing where if we get 10,000 likes on this video, um, I'm gonna do a video building your ideas for cursed dinosaurs. So suggest those in the comments below and have a great day.